The Settle Weekly Teaching Tip Series presents Reading Outcomes and Expectations Promote Transparency. In its most basic sense, reading happens word by word, line by line, sentence by sentence. When students new to university see that they need to read chapters five through six, they likely assume they need to apply the same basic act of reading. But reading is a very different action based on your discipline, course learning outcomes, and class activities. Students can have a difficult time navigating unspoken learning expectations around a reading assignment, which can result in students giving up on rich learning opportunities. Students will likely encounter a wide range of reading expectations, such as skim the chapter for main ideas, annotate for writing patterns, analyze the argument, discuss the three theories in class, recall historical figures and timeline, and define key concepts, among countless others. Savvy students who have taken advanced placement classes in multiple subjects might eventually figure out how each professor expects students to read. But if we want all students to get the intended benefits of reading, and let's face it, actually read, provide a reading outcome and expectation statement. Write a reading outcome as you would a learning outcome for a course, project, or assignment. Such a statement could start with, as a result of the reading, you should be able to, and then end with as specific of actions as possible, such as compare, apply, and identify. These outcomes give guidance on whether students need to merely locate information as needed, define specific terms, or be ready to share their interpretations of arguments presented. Additionally, including a brief reading expectation will help students prioritize reading and focus on the most relevant areas. It is most important when these expectations are linked to an activity or assignment such as an exam or paper. These expectations could draw students to focus on a particular section you will discuss most in class. Distinguish recommended and required readings and provide larger context for the reading's applicability to a program. These brief statements for weekly readings will help students come to class prepared and perform well on assessments. But if this seems unmanageable for your course, start with a single reading expectation paragraph in the syllabus to describe general reading expectations or discuss expectations in class. That's all for now from the Settle Weekly Teaching Tips series.